right now from today's TMJ4. This is Live at 10. Right now at 10, a city at a standstill when protesters block traffic on all lanes of I-43. They stopped their cars on the freeway and got out. Protesters then formed a human chain that closed the entire freeway for about 30 minutes. That caused a backup for miles and even more frustrations. What are y'all doing? What? What are y'all doing? And our cameras were rolling when this protester was arrested. Police detained her because she refused orders to get out of the street. The Milwaukee County Sheriff says 74 people were arrested on the freeway. Deputies had to call in a mobile jail and a county bus to haul the protesters away. Protesters still rally outside the police administration building tonight. They say they are going to stay until all of the arrested protesters are released from jail. Those protesters want the officer who killed Dontre Hamilton to face criminal charges. Yesterday, they promised they would remain peaceful, but they caused a major disruption this evening. And we have team coverage tonight with Steve Shamraz and Julia Fellow. We start at the police administration building. Steve. Mike and Courtney, we're actually outside the jail right now. The uh, protest on the freeway served to divide this group of demonstrators into two different camps tonight. Those which were put in handcuffs and are now booked inside the jail and everybody else you see gathered here outside waiting for every one of them to be released. Police officers and sheriff's deputies moved quickly on the protest, hauling away demonstrators by the dozen. That was enough to scare some of the group back down the on-ramp to I-43 including the family of Dontre Hamilton. And whether it's City Hall, whether it's taking to the streets, we still doing the same thing we always been doing, awareness and disruption. So it's nothing new, it's nothing violent about what we're doing. But shutting down a major interstate at rush hour was new. While Milwaukee police gave the Hamilton family much leeway in the past, protesters were told invading the highway would not be tolerated. MPD's only response tonight, a tweet. Disappointed our continued efforts to work with Hamilton family to ensure safe demonstrations went ignored, requiring law enforcement action. <laughs> Leading the action, the Milwaukee County Sheriff, even bringing out a mobile jail to haul demonstrators away. That moved the demonstration back downtown as those not in handcuffs rallied outside the jail, demanding the others be released. Hamilton family attorney Jonathan Safran has counseled the family through past protests, and he agrees this one was a step too far. I don't condone the freeway being uh, shut down. I think people should stay off the freeway. I think that's too dangerous. I've indicated that to the family and others. Can't control what everybody does. Question now is if these protesters are determined to stay outside the jail until all of their friends inside are released, how long is that? A spokesperson for the sheriff says it takes a couple hours to process each person individually into the jail and then a couple hours after they post bond to post out. There are only a couple of deputies do it. This could be a process that takes all weekend. Live at the Milwaukee County Jail, Steve Shamrath, today's TMJ4. Okay, Steve, thanks. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett is furious. He released this statement, I'm angry and disappointed that the individuals involved in tonight's protest decided to take their demonstration to the interstate and disrupt the lawful flow of traffic and jeopardize the safety of citizens. The Milwaukee Police Department has shown commendable and considerable restraint in policing all of the protest activities to date. Tonight's demonstration however, crossed the line of lawful protest and put the lives of the demonstrators and the general public in harm's way. Those individuals actively engaged in such activity should be arrested and charged.